Hello everybody, it's time for the May TBR. It is time to play the Jars of Chaos. Hello and welcome. <laughs> this month is actually going to be shorter because if you watch the Easter Egg Hunt pre-order video, you will know that one of the fun little extra challenges, prompts that I got was to cut my TBR in half for May and then double it in June. So we're only going to have to do four spins, but does that mean I'm taking a break on reading in May? <laughs> of course not. There's a readathon happening. I'll get to it later. <laughs> but if it's your first time here at the Jars of Chaos, hello. We have a spinner wheel that I will spin four times this round. Usually it's eight. That spinner wheel will, will have the pie slice, will have a prompt for me. It'll tell me which jar I'm picking out of, hence the Jars of Chaos. And that will lead me to a book or possibly another challenge. We don't know. There's a lot of stuff that's very random and chaotic because I don't like making decisions ever, so I let wheels and jars do it for me. Cool! Well, without further ado, let's spin the wheel. Here we go then with spin number one. A gift. We went. We went fully around. A gifted book. Well, the first prompt is a gifted book, so this is a book that was gifted to me in some way shape or form let's get the teapot this is my teapot i got this teapot when i went for metal recycling with my dad and sometimes they have special items that they're like we're not actually going to recycle that um and you can buy it for like a dollar which i don't remember how much this was but i have this and a candy dish that are amazing and they're beautiful and i want to polish them someday but anyway it holds all the gifted books all of them let's see who do we got? This one, apparently. Da, 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 da. It is... Oh, this is gifted me by Lena. I don't know if you guys can Starling House! Once upon a time, Lena had a Book of the Month subscription, and any time that she didn't want the any of the books, she'd say, hey, Q, pick a book, and that's what we did. So this is Starling House by Alexi Harrow. Yay! I love Alexi Harrow. Here's what it's about. I dream sometimes about a house I've never seen. Opal is a lot of things. Orphan, high school dropout, full-time cynic, and part-time cashier. But above all, she's determined to find a better life for her younger brother, Jasper. One that gets them out of Eden, Kentucky, a town remarkable for only two things. Bad Luck and E. Starling, the reclusive 19th century author of The Underland, who disappeared over a hundred years ago. All she left behind were dark rumors and her home. Everyone agrees that it's best to ignore the uncanny mansion and its mythanthropic heir, Arthur. Almost everyone, anyway. I should be scared, but in the dream, I don't hesitate. Opal has been obsessed with the Underland since she was a child. When she gets the chance to step inside Starling House and make some extra cash for her brother's escape fund, she can't resist. But sinister forces are digging deeper into the buried secrets of Starling House, and Arthur's own nightmares have become far too real. As Eden itself seems to be drowning in its own ghosts, Opal realizes that she might finally have found a reason to stick around. In my dream, I'm home. And now she'll have to fight. Ah. Okay. Number one. Spin number two. Spin number two. Ooh, less. No, greater. That's a chonky book. I, I read that wrong. The chonkiest of chonky books. Of course it's a chonky book. Let's, I mean, because it, it's, it's only four books. Well, four spins. So... Chonky it is. My chonkies live in a tree, because it's a chonky little tree. I don't know. My dad found it in a dumpster. Oh, it's it gonna give me? I really, I have a specific one I want, but it probably won't give me that. Ugh. No, it will not. We have Curious Tides by Pascal and Lasselle. For a second, I thought there was stuff on it. It's just the glitter. Um, I forget if this is a special edition or not. Is this like the Barnes and Noble? I forget. It's chunky. It is 539. Unless it had a little 
No, that's just about the author. 539. So not as chunky as other ones. I'm literally reading an over 600 page book. It's fine. But I like chunkies. Um, but yeah, that's... Is there like art? Oh, that's right. It has these weird like dark pages spread it throughout, which is really cool, but here is what it's about. Emery might be a student at the prestigious Aldrin College for Lunar Magics, but her healing abilities have always been mediocre at best, until a treacherous knight in the Dovermere Sea Caves kills a group of her classmates and leaves her as the only survivor. Now Emery is plagued by strange, impossible powers that no healer should possess. Powers that would ruin her life if the wrong person were to discover them. To gain control of these new abilities, Emery enlists the help of the school's most reclusive student, Baz, a boy already well-versed in the deadly nature of darker magic, whose sister happened to be one of the drowned students and Emery's best friend. Determined to find the truth behind the drownings and the cult-like secret society she's convinced her classmates were involved in, Emery is faced with even more questions when the supposedly drowned students start washing ashore, alive only for each to immediately die a horrible, magical death. And Emery is not the only one seeking answers. When her new magic captures the society's attention, she finds herself drawn into their world of privilege and power, all while wondering if the truth she's searching for might lead her right back to Dovermere to face the fate she was never meant to escape. I don't know why this is actually on the Thirsty Vlog. Maybe it's just super hyped up and actually isn't spicy? I don't know. Is this even, is this, is this even, is this YA or is this adult? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll still vlog about it anyway, just because it sounds really interesting. I guess I just saw hype and thought, must have to put it in the thirsty vlog. <laughs> unfortunately, most of my book talk algorithm is oversaturated with all the spicy stuff, even though that's not what I prefer to read. Um, and I'm not going to argue that, oh, book talk is just oversaturated and it's oversaturated the publishing market. In some ways, yes, and in other ways, no, because you can kind of curate your algorithm to not, but I just follow a lot of people who just happen to read a lot of spicy stuff. Anyway, that's the book. <laughs> I'm also hoping to make all the books that I pull today audio because of the readathon we're about to happen. We're about to happen. The readathon we're about to participate in or the readathon that's about to happen. English. I'm a writer. Spin number three. Spin number three. We always get Instagram. We are never gonna have a TBR that doesn't have Instagram. We couldn't get away from it. Not at all. Insta. Give me something. There's a bunch of rats immediately because it's John Green. All right, let's see. Oh, I love this crow. This, this, this raven, this raven, excuse me, it's a raven, is the best. Ah, uh, see, this would be great, but it's not even out yet. It's, it's Heavenly Tyrant by, by Shiran Zhao. I don't think you guys can actually see what's going on here. Anyway, it's a Dr. Trevor Noah, Smosh, that's a puppy, more crows, Avatar. I mean, oh wait, she's holding books. Come back here. Come back. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I still own that book? Wait, pause. This is so annoying. What are you holding? I don't, do I own this book? I forget. Hogle. Looking for a Hogle. I do! On here, she's holding Twice Shy. I have Twice Shy. It's a different edition, clearly. But it's by Sarah Hogle. This is a rom-com. I don't know if this is spicy, but it's not as hyped. Like, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this. So, nice flop. Very nice. Good flop, even for, you know, it's a short book, but it's got that, that smooth page turn. So, very important qualities in any book. Here we go. Can you find real love when you've always got your head in the clouds? Mabel Parrish has always been a dreamer and a hopeless romantic, but living in her own world has long been preferable to dealing with the disappointments of real life. 
So when Mabel inherits a charming house in the Smokies from her great aunt Violet, she seizes the opportunity to make a fresh start. Yet, when she arrives, it seems her troubles have only just begun. Not only is the house falling apart around her, but she isn't the only inheritor. She has to share everything with Wesley Kohler, the groundskeeper who's as grouchy as he is gorgeous, and it turns out he has a very different vision for the property's future. Convincing the taciturn Wesley to stop avoiding her and compromise is a task more formidable than the other dying wishes Great Aunt Violet left behind. But when Mabel uncovers something unexpectedly sweet beneath Wesley's scowls, and as the two slowly begin to let their guard down, they might learn that sometimes the smallest steps outside one's comfort zone can lead to the greatest rewards. Maybe we should thirsty vlog this because it used gorgeous which is my least favorite word when describing a male protagonist because it is overused and I'm, I'm kind of sick of that word. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put in the comments below, should I thirsty vlog this book or should I thirsty vlog this book or should I thirsty vlog both these books? Let me know! And the final spin for May is... <laughs> a tiny book! Less than 250. I love that I really haven't gotten the jar of challenges, which is really what I thought this would be landing on a lot more. But no, it just keeps giving me Instagram and small and chunky all the time. Anyway, we have BB-8. BB-8 is the small jar because it's BB-8. Although I can't really reach in, so I kind of have to... Oh, this is the first one out. Small baby. Oh, perfect. This is one I'm in the middle of. This is a series I'm in the middle of. Uh, granted, it's not an audiobook, but it's very, very, very short, obviously. The Prince of Fishes by Susanna Robentree. There are six of these books. They're all a fairy tale retold. I've read half of them so far. Uh, they're very, very small, very, very quick. Uh, and each one is a standalone, so you don't have to read them in any particular order. Uh, and it has a very, very small, little tiny description, but here it is. Not all wishes should be granted. In a city seething with intrigue and rebellion, Michael the fisherman and his wife Eudokia dream of a better life for their family. When Michael catches a fish that can grant wishes, he and Eudokia finally get their chance to taste the wealth and power of their wildest dreams. But will their ambition destroy the city and everything they love? Okay. So is this a golden fish retail? I forget what the actual fairy tale name is. But it's the one where he sticks his finger in the fish and then everything he touches turns to gold? Or is that just from the Tenth Kingdom? I don't know. The Tenth Kingdom used fairy tales. But that's what happens to the dad in, <laughs> in Tenth Kingdom. He turns everything to gold, and then he turns the prince, uh, the prince who is now a dog, a golden retriever, into a, a actual golden, golden retriever. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Here's the babiest of baby TBRs. Baby, baby TBR. Not, I can hold it all in one hand with no struggle. We can do some curls. Easy peasy. But May will not be easy because Nicole over at Dusty Book Sniffers is hosting the KU Mayhem Readathon. It's also KU slash Kindle Mayhem. Basically, all through May, you're trying to clear out your Kindle. As we know, ebooks are not my favorite thing. However, I've been reading a ton more of them because of NetGalley arcs and just throwing things on there in general. So, we're gonna do that. There are two separate TBR graphics. I will show them here. Um, but one is for KU, one is for just my Kindle purchases. Some of these have been on my Kindle for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Because I don't really touch my Kindle all that much. KU, if you don't know, allows you to borrow 20 books at a time. So I just kind of went through and figured out who I had on KU and just filled it up. And then with my Kindle, I looked at who I had on Kindle and who I could get for free right now because sometimes books are on sale and I just filled it up. But here are the books. So technically I have 40 extra eBooks to read in May. Will I be reading them all? God, no. But will I be getting through them? Yes, I'll get through some of them at least. But I wanted to share with you the ones that I picked slash let a spinner wheel decide because for my KU, what I decided to do was kind of empty it and anything that I had listed 
on my KU reading list or my indie books would let a spinner wheel decide and these are who was selected. Path of a Novice by R.K. Lander. Well of Ada by K.B. Benson. Cemetery Tours by Jacqueline Smith. The Rose Gate by Hannah Sandvig. Enter the Janitor by Josh Vogt. Army of the Cursed by Karim Solomon. Tell Me How It Ends by Quentin Lee. Salt by Liz Shipton. Boy Band, also by Jacqueline E. Smith. The Cruel Gods by Trudy Skies. Cursed Cocktails by S.L. Rowland. Descent of Shadows by Ryan Glenn. The Silent Prince by C.J. Brightly. Daughter of the Beast by E.C. Greaves. Between Shadow and Flame by C.T. It's Bruce? I'm so sorry, it's kind of fuzzy on my phone that I'm trying to read this. A Kingsguard Tale by G.F. Allen. Underground Angel by J. Noble. To Betray a King by Annette K. Larson. Wandering Star by Stephen J. Anderson. And A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. That one I might also do for Thirsty Vlog. I don't think anybody else on here is gonna be a Thirsty Vlog, but that one sure is. And then for the non-KU books, here are the Kindle TBR. We have two by Mama Maggie Ward. Uh, we have Relic of Time and Prophecies and War of Prophecies. These are book one and two in the Relic of Time Wars by M.M. Ward. Gift of Air by C.L. Carhart. Bound by Fate and Blood by Jenna O'Malley, another author tuber here. Pemberley, Mr. Darcy's Dragon by Mariah Grace, or Maria Grace. I always say Mariah as soon as I hear anything Pride and Prejudice because it's Mariah Lucas. Mordecax by Mark McCagragher. McCarragher, McCarragher, I'm so sorry. That was, I butchered that. Phoenix Child by Elisa McKenna Johnson. Follow the Lady by O.E. Tierman. Piper Prince by Amber Argyle. Winter Trials by K.S. Marsden. Altered by Cameron Corral. Twisted Pretty Things by Ariana Nash. The Tale of the Young Witch by Joseph Minart. Captive of the Stolen Empire by Megan Van Dyke. The Charmed by Kylie Fennell. Merchants of Knowledge and Magic by Erica McCorkle. The Witch Would Not by Olivia Atwater. Spellbound at Pemberley by Abigail Reynolds. Twelfth Night by Alexine Farrell Folmuth, which is actually an arc, but it's on my Kindle so it counts. Arthur and Teddy are coming out by Ryan Love. And that's them. There might be some more on there, but those are who I'm going to focus on. I'm going to spinner wheel my life through May on who I'm reading, so I don't really have a priority. Like, I definitely have ones that I'm like, oh, I really want to read that first. But I will let the spinner wheel decide my fate. And it shouldn't be too hard. So as long as we get through these guys, we're good. As long as we knock some out of my Kindle, we're also good. Hell yeah. Cool. Let me know if you're going to join the KU Mayhem. Uh, you can check out, I'll link Nicole's video about it below. So if you want to participate, you sure can. Next month will be a very intense TBR, so I'm looking for a very chill time. This round, I'm gonna hopefully be focused actually more on writing this month because Hispacac 2 is finally happening. I finally got out of my writer paralysis with it and things are happening, folks. All right, well, I'm going to go now. Uh, you can support me on Ko-fi if you enjoyed this video or any video of the past. You can go subscribe there or do one-off donations. People who do subscribe uh, get early access to all of my videos and other special thingies as they come up. You can also purchase any of my books and other merchandise on my Ko-fi shop. It really helps me out. It feeds Mambo and please do so. It would be very nice. <laughs> and of course you can follow me on all the socials, Instagram, tickety tockety X, Twitter, it's Twitter, whatever. Instagram, obviously. Did I already say Instagram? Probably. I'm cool. It's fine. I'm not tired at all. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs> Most of my book took, book took. As we know, I've been reading. You can come in here anytime.